please leave a message at the tone. Hey, it's Cedar. I'm headed out to Squamish. Anyways, I love you. I just uh, wanted to let you know I came up with this crazy idea. I'm going to try to make a film, shoot it, and edit it in a day. See how that goes. Hopefully getting some good footage and also getting some good climbing in. So, yeah, I love you a lot. Talk to you soon. Bye. Howdy. I've been coming to Squamish for, I guess, 10 years now, on and off, and every summer it just uh, it got better and better of a place. There were more roots and more cool people, and, and then I settled down here uh, permanently two years ago. Squamish is a super badass place to live. It's, it's kind of like living the dream 365 days a year. Coming to Squamish makes you feel like you're on this permanent road trip. I think today is what matters the most. It's, it's a really, you know, we hear it all the time, but it's so true. And I think that's why we hear it all the time. I feel it's really fortunate to be in a position where I could take time off and just play and just climb and hang out with my friends. I think you just gotta do what works for you, you know? And, and nothing, I don't know, you can't get too carried away about the future because it's completely unpredictable. So you gotta just really enjoy, like, today. Yeah, Sonny is a handsome man. He's a very, very strong man. Sonny is Captain Canada, for sure. I call him Captain Canada. Honnold's definitely one of the world's top rock climbers. He's also got these real, like, doughy eyes with these long lashes. You just kind of get captivated by them. It's really, it's really awkward, yeah. Hey, I'm Alex. I'm a rock climber. You hate this part? Yeah, I hate this part. I hate introductions. Is this really dirtbag? <laughs> Squamish is perfect in the summer. The rock in Squamish is world class. The town of Squamish is just very chill. It's very Canadian, it's very peaceful. Oh, I just discovered my key beta for this thing. I don't think you would deck from anywhere on Lake of Fire unless you like really blew it and your belayer wasn't paying attention. But um, but at certain points, it's definitely pretty pretty sporty. Lake of Fire, yeah, you can definitely hurt yourself. Yeah, no, Lake of Fire is definitely like rated R. The granite is awesome. The rock is, is good. It's really featured. It's, you know, it makes for really good climbing. Actually, the gear on the whole route's like, it's good gear, it's just kind of spacey, so it's, it's exciting to punch it between little sections. Is that philosophy on life? I'm not that wise, but I have this friend, Cedar Wright, who's a philosopher genius, and uh, so you should direct all inquiries his way because he's very smart. I'm aspiring to make it through my whole life without ever having to work. Does that count for anything? Yeah, I think that's a good philosophy. To make it through all life with the least amount of work possible. Is that like, I mean, I'm a very lazy person, but mostly I just like being able to rock on like all the time. Squamish is like the summer place. Squamish is an amazing destination. And it seems like the town really encourages climbing, like they actually make an effort to support people coming here and rock climbing. Yeah, I was super psyched to send it. It's like one of my hardest trad routes and like, um, and it's kind of rewarding to figure out all the gear, figure out all the data and then to do it. You know, it's like it's a fun process. I don't really do moderation. Um, and we're gonna head up to the Circuit of Impractical's, which is kind of like the meat potato squamish cliff. Uh, big cracks, hard cracks, not a single protection bolt on any of these pitches. It's a pretty soulful zone.
greasy. a whirlwind i shot so much video today i pulled off the first half let's just let's just see if i can get it edited now anyways i love you and uh talk to you soon bye